Hello, viewer. You like? Now, as you may have noticed, I'm not in the park today. That's because the park was far too windy for me to film in. And that's incredibly frustrating for me. So now I've chosen to let you see the inside of my humble abode where all the magic happens. Do you like my book collection? They're mystery novels. Why do I have an Australian flag in my room? Well... It was really nice setting up the home studio, you know, with a couple of light bulbs, some tin foil, and uh, my old tower. It's weird for me to be filming because my family is right in the other room or around the rooms of the house. My sister's room is right there, my brother's room is right there. So, we're talking with a near shot of pretty much four people. But besides that, I'm pretty sure you've noticed this pretty sweet goatee, and that's because while shaving, I kind of shaved a little too far and I figured I'd spice it up a little. Before you get to know me a little more, you should know that I like to change my facial hair very often. I've had different styles over the years, and this is just one of them. I've gone for a traditional goatee where it just sticks to my chin, but now I've grown it out a little bit more so I can get the sides like a nice Iron Man going on. And the mustache is pretty thick, so you know, either that or I'm in the evil Zeke and I've taken over this place, all for my own. As such, today's video is about my facial hair throughout the years. This video won't be as long as the other ones because they're pretty long videos and then when I've read from the analytics, some people won't really stick around for about three minutes. So this will be about three to four minutes, so you know I don't waste too much of you guys this time and I keep things interesting and not too long. That and I've noticed the longer I talk, the longer I ramble and use similar words. Similar words meaning I use the word enjoy too many times in my last video. I'm a smart person, I promise. I know a lot more words. Oh, alright. So to kick off the timeline, when I first started growing facial hair, it was a little tiny mustache. Not much, but enough to attract the ladies. This was around, I'd say, my 13th birthday, about seven years ago, which was nice, but not too nice because I didn't know how to maintain it. My mom actually was the first one to teach me how to shave. It was nice, baby smooth. From then on, for Zeke, it was an uphill battle of maintaining my scraggly facial hair. For years, it just kind of grew in kind of patchy and didn't really do much. I was stuck somewhere in the middle of the spectrum of whether I should shave it or whether I shouldn't let it grow out or shave it so it can grow in a lot more full. Back then I didn't own much of a razor so I just kind of had whatever was on deck. But as the years went along I started to get to know my face a little bit more and what I like to have on it. I pretty much just stuck to letting whatever was on my face grow and just keep the neck nice and clean because the neck is dirty and neck beards are dirty. I'm just kidding if you have a neck beard but it's just personally not for me. Through the latter part of high school, I kind of kept it mainly isolated on my chin and my sides. But the way my facial hair grows, it grows really bushy, so I kind of look like Abe Lincoln every time I let it grow out too long. In fact, that's how it was in my senior picture. I know, great for me. But after I left high school, I decided to experiment a little more. And I mean a lot of experimentation. It's fun to experiment with facial hair. If you got it, want to do all sorts of different tricks with it. Like the other day, chopped off the sides and became Tony Stark. Look at that. Now all I need is trillions of dollars. And a fancy suit. I never really understood the fascination, almost obsession when it comes to beards and stuff like that. I'm not a fan of glitter beards or hanging stuff in your beards, but maybe I'll try it once or twice if my beard will grow out bushy enough for it. But there's nothing wrong with people liking stuff like that. It all comes down to preference, and that's not really mine. I'd love to be able to attend the World Beard Competitions, or whatever they're called, the greatest beard in the world, because that's amazing, and maybe one day I'd like to attend. I put mine in the shape of a Z. I actually learned the way I shave my facial hair, I look like my dad at a younger age. Becoming more like him every day, huh? So yeah, I'd say over the years, I've gone from scraggly beard, to kind of no beard for a while, because I learned how to shave, to better chin strap, I went goatee for a while, I kept a nice chin strap and a mustache, to beard, and now the Iron Man, as I want to call it. If you have a beard or a fascination with facial hair, I would say experiment however you can. It's immensely fun, and I and I recommend it wholeheartedly. Do whatever you can with it. Mine doesn't grow right here, so that's where this masterpiece came from. Except sometimes I feel more like a douchebag on a dirt bike. 
Maybe one day I can pull off a goatee like my main man Heisenberg. But yeah, this is pretty much a short video about me, go figure. But I hope you enjoyed it because facial hair is cool and I hope you enjoy facial hair. If not, you know, don't worry about it. Don't watch the whole video, it's not for you. Maybe next week I can return to the park and finally film in the beautiful scenery and not in my cooped up little room around all my family members. But it's nice to be able to set up lights. If you do your own videos, yeah, I encourage it. I encourage you to set up neat little lights. It is extremely worth it to take the extra time to make your own little studio. Because this looks amazing. It's, it's nice. It, it's a little extra touch to make your videos look a lot better. If you make your own videos, go ahead. Take that extra step. You'll love it. Trust me, it makes it a lot more fun. But enough about me. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you have a nice day. If you're not having a nice day, I hope it gets better. As always, it was nice talking to you. Bye.